Welcome to our YouTube channel, Wildlife World. If you're moved by the stories of animals, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our videos. Thanks for joining our community, the animal. Without hesitation, he lunged at Lorna with his nostrils blazing. Dragging the frail woman to the ground, he started tearing at her body. She shouted in fright but violently fought back. She tore off cusps of fur and blood from the bear hide by tearing into it with her claws. The bear bellowed once more before snapping at her hand. Further, you can become a channel member or a patron. Links in the description below. So, let's get into this bear of a story. In the year of the bear, Lorna Weefer, a 36-year-old female from Dublin, Ireland, embarked on a hiking trip in the remote wilderness of Canada's Yukon Territory. She had always been an avid hiker and had completed several challenging hikes in the past, but this trip would turn out to be the hardest of all. Lorna was an expert hiker who had made great preparations for the journey. She had spent months researching the place she was about to visit and had packed all the essential materials and equipment. She was aware that bears and other wildlife may be found in the Yukon and she had taken all required steps to stay away from them. Any encounters that could be harmful. Early in the morning, Lorna embarked on her journey, eager to experience the rough landscape of the Yukon. She followed a well-marked trail that wound through the dense forest, occasionally stopping to take in the breathtaking scenery. She encountered several other hikers along the way and even made a few new friends. After a few hours of hiking, Lorna decided to take a break and have a snack. She found a small clearing near a stream and sat down to rest. She had just finished having something to eat when she heard a rustling in the bushes nearby. Lorna froze, unsure of what to do. She knew that the Yukon was home to several species of wildlife, including bears, and had read extensively about what to do in the event of a bear encounter. She slowly reached for the bear spray she had brought with her and prepared to use if necessary. Suddenly, a large, hideous, black bear burst out of the bushes, charging straight at Lorna. Without having a chance to react, she was violently knocked to the ground. The bear started mauling her, attacking her arms and legs with teeth and claws. If she wanted to survive, Lorna realized she had to fight back. She frantically attempted to push the bear away with her hands and feet, but it was useless. Lorna was aware that she would not be able to escape on her own since the bear was too strong. Out of sheer desperation, assembling the bear spray, Lorna and sprayed it directly into the bear's face. The bear recoiled in pain, giving Lorna a momentary reprise. She quickly scrambled to her feet and began to run in the opposite direction, hoping to escape. However, the bear was not deterred. It pursued Lorna relentlessly, chasing her through the forest. Lorna knew that she would not outrun the bear and realized that her only hope was to find a place to hide. She spotted a nearby tree and quickly climbed up it. Using all her strength to pull herself up the trunk, she hunkered up on a limb that was high above the ground and clung to it desperately as the bear approached, outlined below. Lorna stayed in the tree for several hours because she was too terrified to go out. She heard the bear, she could hear it snarling and growling below, and she knew that it wouldn't be long until it pursued her once more. What was even more alarming was, as night fell, Lorna began to bleed heavily and had multiple gaping wounds, which for her at this moment was most likely quite dizzying. The sun was beginning to set, and Lorna knew that she had to make a decision. She could either stay in the tree all night and hope that the beer would eventually give up and leave, or she could attempt to climb down and make a run for it. Lorna decided to take her chances and climbed down from the tree. She carefully lowered herself to the ground, thighs scraped and bruised, blood covering one of her eyes. She was desperate and afraid, hoping to find help before the bear caught up with her. She ran and ran as far as she could, but not long after, the bear tackled her from behind, taking her to the ground once again. It began tearing into her, this time more ferociously than the last. She fought and screamed and thrashed her arms, but to no avail. A few onlookers saw the attack and came running to her aid, as she wasn't far from a lodge. None of the onlookers had bear spray, but one ran into the lodge and grabbed the fire extinguisher. They sprayed the bear, and it ran on. Lorna's body lay there in ruin, but the bear would come back and bluff charge those who were trying to defend the body. The onlookers were forced to retreat in hopes of finding aid, 
but the bear viciously tore into Lorna, and it was too late to take action on anything. Some of the witnesses claimed that the attack lasted for about an hour. Lorna had been discussing returning before embarking on this journey. She loved helping people, which motivated her to pursue a career in psychology. For her family, it was a terrible loss, and the globe, whatever the cause, the bear was determined to hunt and eat Lorna. Authorities shot and killed an adult black bear that was spotted nearby as soon as they arrived, and investigators closed off a 200 square meter area around the site of the attack and placed a number of live bear traps nearby. However, it was determined after interviewing with witnesses and performing a DNA investigation that the bear that was shot and killed was the one who took Lorna's life. A second bear was captured and subsequently released. Her family was devastated by the death, but expressed gratitude to all the witnesses who tried to protect their daughter. Geez, you guys think about that situation. I can't believe that once again it was a young woman out in the woods and she got attacked by a bear. And this time, it was a black bear. The black bear must have saw that she was just not very large of a target, maybe for whatever reason it sensed her vulnerabilities and it took advantage of that. That's the thing about black bears is they're very opportunistic, and it seems to me that in this case it certainly saw the young woman as prey. And I don't know what else you can blame on this attack outside of the bear just finding opportunity and taking advantage of it. How crazy is it that this girl fought as hard as she did, getting bear hair in her fingernails and all that and climbing up the tree to escape it? I wonder what would have happened if she just stayed up in the tree, if the bear would have climbed up after her and just pulled her down or something. But damn, I'm just shocked by this, and I'm sorry to share it with you guys, but I mean, this stuff is very perspective gaining, I think, to listen to and to read and all that. Makes me want to be more aware of my surroundings and appreciate every day and not take for granted anything in life. But what do you guys think about this story? What do you think could have been done differently? And have you ever been in Blackbeard territory? For more chilling tales from the Iceman, let me know in the comments section below and like this video if you haven't already.